Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're gonna finish uh, trying to do the mahi mahi. Have you guys know? Um, I, I tried the, the mahi mahi. I, uh, I explained in the last video when we set this up. I just completed the video on setting setting up the weave. I tried it with size D thread, and let me tell you, it took me a long time to make this stupid drawing. Um, and that was 35 threads total. So I went to size 8 thread and see if it like cleans it up a little bit, bit. But just the pictures alone, you could tell how gritty this one is and how much pronounced, pronounced uh, the threads are in that one. So we're going to set our picture up here. And this is our left list. I even color coded the threads, which thread you pull to the left. That's why it's called the leftless. All the threads are going to the right. I'm doing this video a little different than I normally do because I normally, um, I want to keep both jigs in the focus here. I normally do a zoomed in one, but I had a few people ask uh, to do um, one zoomed out so that they could see what we're, what I'm doing. And uh, this is my second attempt at this fish and my second attempt with multi-colors. And when you have all these colors, like right here, we got blue, green, yellow, and then uh, we have black for the eyes. Um, you have to lay them on top of each other because as you can see, in this row right here, you got yellow and then it switches to green. And then this one is yellow, then it goes to blue, then it goes to black. Well, and this one here is yellow, goes blue, yellow, black, and then yellow again. So you have to have let, threads on top of each other. And, that, and I showed you in the last video how I go about setting that up. So I uh, want to welcome all the new members to the channel. We've been getting, uh, not members, but subscribers to the channel. We have the actual... We don't have any members yet. I don't even have the members things really set up. I don't recommend anybody joining the membership program right now. If you do, I'll be motivated to actually get it set up. But I don't have no members, so I'm really not too motivated. I've been working like crazy trying to make time for video because I really love to do these. It's my relaxing time. I know it's stressful at times, you know. It took me over two hours to make that picture and then probably an hour and a half two hours to set the jig up and then i'm assuming it'll be about two hours to wrap this thing so you got a lot of time into it and then when you you have a a fail which i did on the last one it is discouraging but that's why i wanted to i don't want to just show all my positive things the reason i do a lot of these wraps and do the i do this stuff the first time on uh, on camera is so you can see what I did wrong and you can uh, learn from my mistakes. You know, that's the goal is to learn from each other. Move a stool over here. I can't stand up and do this for the whole time because my back will kill me. All right. So like I said, um, in my last video, so over 77% of my views are coming from non-subscribers. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate all the views. But if you like the content, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss future ones. Uh, I'd like to do a new video, you know, at least a couple a week. I haven't been, I missed like two weeks of putting out videos because I was out of town for work. I just started a new corporation, and uh, I'm trying to juggle family, work, and it's just it gets hectic, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to use this purple thread because it's already in the jig. Now, these are all size A threads. The last one where I did a bust on, we did, um, it was size D thread. And D don't give you enough room for, um, I don't know, it just, it's really a gritty looking, I think. The last one I did with the shark with the size A thread, 
it was really, came out really nice I think it came out you can see it right here it came out like the picture I'm just gonna move this out of the way here and uh, we'll get some wraps on here quick before we get going all right so we're gonna start with see it shows one and two don't have any threads but we're way past one and two now so it shows five and 54 yellow so you go to five or six five and we only want to take the yellow one out so I got to hold all them other ones in. That's why I you have to have one of these. Because getting these threads out will be a nightmare without it. And then I'll put my finger here and hold the other ones. We'll take five. And then we'll bring it over here. And put it in five to the left. And that's why it's called a leftless. Because you're bringing them from the right to the left. Okay, it says five and then 54. So come over here, there's 40, there's 50, here's 55, 54. Can't find the thread here. See, they get twisted. You gotta make sure you don't grab them both. Then I'll hold that one, and then I'll take 54 over here. And make sure you put it in 54. And that was another thing I did wrong is I put them in the wrong locations. So now I'll just give myself a little check next to this. Like this. Give myself a little mark. And then I do like to use my ruler too. So now I give it a wrap. One wrap over. And then it says we want five through six over there. We, we already got five. So we'll need to add six. And it's yellow. Because we're working on the tail now. So we'll bring six over, make sure we put it in six. That's one of the most important things. So five through six and 53 through 54. So we already brought over 54, so we're gonna be shooting for 53. And as simple as that. It gets more complicated when you get down here. You got blue, green, yellow, green, yellow. But if you concentrate on, don't try to rush. You can't rush this stuff. And I cut my threads short because of this reason. When you got them too long, they all hang over and you're, you're constantly flipping them. So we've got that one checked. So now we need six through seven and then 52 through 53. So we got five over here, five and six. So the first thing I do is when I look at my numbers is I look over here and see what I already have here. If I, I know I need six and seven, but I look over here, I have five and six. So I'm gonna take five back and then bring seven back with me. That's the first thing I do is take what I have over there that I don't need and then bring it back and put it where it goes. Okay, there's five. So it said six and seven. So I'm gonna yank seven while I'm right here. My hands are already in the jig right here. Hold these threads down, take just the yellow. And we'll take seven over to where it goes. Now down here it says 52 through 53. 
Well, we got 53 and 54, so we're going to take 54 back over to the right. And we're going to put it in 54 mark. 50. There's 60. We're going to put this in 54. And it says 52 and 53. So we'll take 52 back with us. And then we'll put 52 and 52. So first thing I'll do is I'll put a little check there. And then I'll wrap it. And then I'll move my ruler down. Now all our threads are a mess over here. Straighten those out. It's time consuming. It's time consuming, but this is such a cleaner look. So now we're going to do 7 and 8 and 51 and 52. So we got 6 over here, 6 and 7. So we're going to take 6 back where it goes.
Looks like we get into multiple colors here now. This is important. Now we're going to start with the, the first part and then go down the second part because there will never be two colors in one slot. So we need 22 through 26. So that means 21 has to go back. And then we got to put twenty seven because it says twenty two through twenty six. So we go twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. So we're going to take twenty seven out of here. Seven slot. And we gotta take twenty eight out of here. Okay, now we need twenty seven and twenty eight in green. So we gotta take the green one out this time. colors in here it's hard to work sorry I'm bumping my head on the camera okay 28 now it says 29 through 38 is gonna be yellow again so that's all we have so let's leave it Did that. So now we need twenty two to twenty four.
Perfect, but better than it's ever been. I should have made that more jagged so these kind of overlap each other. But. <coughs> 